Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about an anime with the reincarnated Demon King who has a fetish for two sisters in throwing castles. We start off with our main character, Anos Voldigold, who arrives at a demon academy even though he's the Demon King himself. He meets a silent girl named Misha, who rarely speaks and quickly befriends her. Quickly. And I mean by the time he walks through the entrance, those two are already best friends forever. You're my special friend. Even before the semester starts, he's challenged by an upstart brat who asks for a duel. After immense psychological torture and pressure on the innocent bastard, the Demon King finally fulfills his masochist desires. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. But things are still tough for him. The big brother challenges him and he explodes a stadium on their face. He later revives them and tells them to be good brothers. <laughs> then we're introduced to a blonde haired bitch named Sasha. <laughs> Who's the sister of Misha? She challenges Anos for a fight. <sighs> when do people learn this guy's overpowered? He spins their castle and throws it away, showing us how much strength he has. The girl accepts the beat, but in return, she gets to befriend her sister once again. Wait, what is this? Kissing in the second episode? What's the name of this anime? School Days? Oh! Ew! Dude! And there goes her character development. A new lecturer arrives at the university and gets molested by Anos. But after the lecture is over, he tells Anos that his memory is erased. A new test starts, and Anos goes on with the two sisters to the ground floor with the staff. Misha gives Sasha her birthday gift, and she thanks her by stabbing her. Anos tells Sasha to stop acting like a bitch before Sasha runs away. Wait a minute! Wait, wait a minute! Misha tells Anos that she and her sister were born from a weird scientific experiment that defies the entire rules of childbirth and human biology. Anos promises to help her out and tells Sasha to do a weird shaman dance. She does that, but before Anos could help, he's killed by the lecturer with the sword! Anos reveals that he can return by death, but with much less suffering than another poor bastard. He goes to meet the god of time, who happens to be having a bad day. The god tries to kill him, but once again, Anos shows off his power and tells the anime writers to stop writing fight scenes since he can basically win against everyone. The battle comes to an epic conclusion and ends off with a rather cheesy ending where both girls scream Anos' name. <laughs> Thank you. The lecturer gets his memory back and vows to serve Anos. The two sisters are saved and each of them get a birthday gift, once again reminding us that Anos can be pretty flirty at times. Anos soon learns that he has a fan club of his own and every girl in there wants to marry him. Then we're introduced to the transfer student named Lei, because this anime hasn't already pulled enough cliches already. Transfer student challenges Anos to a fight because no idiot in this world learned a lesson from all those previous episodes. He ends up getting defeated as usual and ends up joining Team Anos. Now, let's get to the tournament art, though there's no point in a tournament if the main character is overpowered. The lecturer, who's now a cat, tells Anos to drop out of the matches because there's someone who's planned to kill him. Anos says that he's too overpowered to die and meets an old man who happens to be his servant now. The matches begin, and Anos is gifted with the sword crafted by his father. Anos defeats the first opponent with the power of family and friendship, while several cute girls of the school act as cheerleaders while an innocent man gets beaten to his death. He soon learns Lei's mother is in the hospital and wants to fight again to become more strong. <laughs> Meanwhile, the school teacher becomes a bad teacher and decides to fry some Anos girls. <laughs> Anos gets pissed and decides to punish her by stripping her. Literally, 
and figuratively. Now the teacher will be born as a low-class hybrid every time she tries to kill herself. We all die. You either kill yourself or get killed. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? A girl tries to heal Lei's mother, but Lei says there are already enough good characters in the anime and knocks her unconscious. The final battle starts, and the two fight for their death. Anos takes down Lei, but the old man tells him it was all a master plan of his and traps Anos in a dimension. Lei's mother gives her life to save the two of them, and Anos pulls out the pants of the old man and stabs him with a sword. <laughs> realize the old man was manipulated by a guy wearing a mask. The guy escapes and Anno says there's no point chasing him. Lei's mother's revived and everyone is happy. Wait, who's this new girl? Oh, I see. This world must have really good salons. In a history lesson, we learned humans were at war with demons and the Demon King sacrificed his life to create peace by pulling out a Zero Requiem. The Demon King tells he hopes to meet the hero as a friend. The new term starts and now the Demon Academy students need to visit the human realm. Anos is challenged by two students in a library and he defeats both of them. Another tournament arc starts, and the heroes take the upper hand by shooting water waves at the Demon Academy students. The prideful Demon Academy students finally ask for help from Anos, and he once again shows how powerful he is by vaporizing the whole lake. The battle royale starts once again, and this time, Anos takes all of them down with his team with the power of friendship. He meets a yandere who tries to self-destruct but saves everyone. When Misha goes to investigate about the academy, she's attacked by another old man. Because there aren't enough evil old men in this anime already. As always, the innocent gets vaporized by Anos and he speaks to a mother of a thousand clones. That's right, the girl has been creating clones all her life. The guy wearing a mask appears once again, steals a sword, and runs away. He tries to create a human demon war, but Anos meets him face to face, and it's revealed Lei was the guy behind the mask all along. No! No! They clash off in a battle that Lei thinks is epic, but it's just Anos killing him all over again. Yeah, <laughs> Anno sacrifices himself to save the kingdom again, but the true evil genius behind the plan turns out to be another old man. This old man bears a grudge to the demons and comes back and tries to kill them. The sisters unite and fight him off. Do not take this! But the dead Anos once again arrives because otherwise, the studio won't be able to make a season two of this anime. Please stop this madness. What do you want from me? Uh, what do you want? Please! Anos and Lei defeat the old man together with the power of friendship, which would have been epic if not for the singing cheerleading squad. <laughs> In the end, everyone is happy, and Anos adds another girl to his harem. So, what's the moral of this story? In order to become strong and win girls, you need to be a demon lord. And since you're none of that, shut up and keep watching anime. We'll see you in the next video.